Hey guys, welcome to the book out. This video is going to be on how to um, get over your writer's block. But before that, I want to say an announcement. I just want to say thank you for the 61 subscribers that we have now. Like, I was not expecting that. That is so many subscribers in the last month. I'm really happy for that. Like, and we're not even going to talk about the amount of views. Like, those shorts are amazing. And also, sorry for not uploading shorts anymore. I just ran out of ideas. So, anyways, this video is about how to get rid of writer's block. I don't know why I was just squinting. So, there are a few things I have right here. So, I have had writer's block before, and it was pretty bad. Um, but my greatest tip was just to, like, write it out. Like, when you have writer's block, that doesn't mean you're literally incapable of writing. Nothing can stop you from doing anything. Um, it just makes it harder. Like, you don't have ideas. You're not rejuvenated in your creative space. So, what I did was I listened. Well, for one, I totally separated myself from that project. I wasn't going to try and continue writing that. And second, um, I listened to music, like, of a certain genre. I just listened to super sad music over and over and over again. And I wrote, like, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand words. And it didn't have to be any good. Your writing does not need to be good. It can be really, really bad. It should be really, really bad. But, um, that's what helped me, um, you know, get out of the writing block. Because after I wrote that, it was much easier for me to write something else. And also, if you really don't have anything in your head, then you can do this warm up that I learned about. Basically, you're just rewriting a story in your own words. So for me right now, I'm doing Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief because I saw it on Disney Plus and I'm obsessed. Um, so I've read the book once. Um, and really, I'm just rewriting it, not word for word, but you should be able to understand that this is the same book. And honestly, it's so fun and it just turns on so many signals in my creative mind for the creativity in my brain. I just really, really enjoy it. And those are two tips. So one, just write outside of your normal thing. And two, do that warm up. Just rewrite another book. And so another tip is to take a break. So like take a break from writing. You may have been just writing so much you've burnt yourself out your body doesn't want to write anymore um so take a break but don't do nothing in this break like stay away from writing in general but maybe you could read a book or I find that going outside is really helpful because a lot of people have like create like a creative battery and if you spend all of your creativity on other stuff you're not gonna have it for your writing so just like I find that going out in nature helps like like give me more energy creative energy for that little battery there's so many buff words i don't know <coughs> also i don't know why my voice is like this and it's kind of getting on my nerves but um yeah i already said free writing so you could speak to somebody. You could talk to somebody about your writer's block. Um, I've never done that before. Maybe with my mom. I don't see that helping, but you can in my... You could also just go over a lot of ideas with other people. And you could also like write with like prompts. Just try and write, I think. Oh my gosh, this is really getting on my nerves. Like, the random mucus in my throat. I love you. And don't compare writing. Comparison is a tool that the devil used. Don't compare your writing to anyone else. Otherwise, you're never going to get anywhere. Because you're always going to be like, I'm so bad. This is so much better. Like, just write. And also, don't throw away your bad writing. Like, I have a space in my notebook. Maybe you know. It's called the graveyard. It's where all my bad writing is. You can see how far you've come from that. And 
honestly, I think I'm going to use like one more tip because this is a really good one. Make writing a habit. Like a lot of us, I know this, um, just write whenever we feel like it. Do it more than that. Like, set out a certain time every day. Maybe 30 minutes in the morning, maybe 30 minutes in the afternoon, maybe 30 minutes at night, maybe at 3.72 in the morning. I know it's not a time, but um, you could set out a certain amount of time to write. If you can't do 30 minutes off the top, do two minutes. That's better than zero. Do four, do five. You can grow more and more if you want to. And that doesn't have to be your designated writing time for everything. Like, you can write more after that. But make sure you're writing. Writing, wow. Writing in that time. Because that can really, really help you. I know it did when I did it. Wow, that was just a lie. I've never done that before. But I think it would help. Um, am I squinting? I don't know. I can't see. I don't have my glasses or contacts. Anyway. Yeah, that was my last tip. Um, I'm glad this video isn't too long. But basically, you just need to write. Like, to get out of writer's block, write. It sounds crazy, but that's what you need to do. Grow your battery. I don't know. Do something that motivates you. Just make sure you're doing something. I didn't want this to be a super long video because I know it's just going to be, like, talking the whole time. But I really hope this was helpful. Um, shout out to Google. And thank you all. For the support there will be a better video out soon next week i don't know